Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, we have here post, we can create a post, very good. We need, we have work to do, so we need to add, uh, update, uh, delete the post. Also, I want to show a notification when we create the post. And then, one more thing is that when we create a post or update the post, I want to preview the image, to see what the image we have selected. And one more thing is uh, I had a mini conversation and also some comments from you why I chose to have a separate controller using invoc invocable controllers instead of using one controller and one resource controller for the post. And yeah, you can use one resource controller, which is uh, okay. But I have used to work with uh, invocable controllers. And I like them because a uh, single responsibility, so each controller had, handles only one action. Also, explicit uh, routing, so you define routes explicitly for each controller. And you can modify how you want, for example. And also flexibility, so more flexible than resource controllers are the, for me at least, the invocable controllers. As you can customize each controller uh, independently. But uh, yes, uh, require more uh, boilerplate code because you need to create uh, many files, many controllers for them. And here, for example, in our project, I have created the post create controller, which we don't need. We have that controller only to return the component when we navigate there. But we can use the uh, inertia route for that and I'm going to show you in this video okay so that's it if you want to use a resource controller it's okay totally fine but I prefer to use uh, invocable controllers okay now let's start and work and as I told you yeah let's open the inertia first and let's navigate the routing and yeah we have something like this we can say route inertia and we point to about, we just render the about component. So let's do also as the same thing. So I'm going to open the web routes and let's close this. And here we have route get post create. And if I open the post create, we just return the post create here. Now, if we don't have uh, something else logic in here, we don't need this controller. So let me just. Uh, delete if i got up http controllers yeah this post controller we can delete and instead of using the post controller we can say not route get but route inertia because we use inertia here and not post controller class but just we say post create we reference this post create component okay now let me just open the terminal and create two controllers, the edit and update controller. So edit and update. Okay. And register the routes for the edit. Uh, not like this, but route get post edit and patch or put for the post update we need to import the controllers post edit controller and also the post update controller i think we are okay uh, yeah delete the post create controller let's do that and i think we are okay here now let's open the post uh, edit controller and here we are going to receive the post dollar sign post we need to import this post and for now just let's return the inertia and i'm going to change this uh, not just post but i would say current post like this we don't have the post edit so let's open uh, and create that inside the resources 
JS, pages, posts. I'm going to save the create world, make changes here, but for now let's just duplicate this and say edit. Because we have the form here. Change this to be post uh, update. And here just navigate the post like this. We don't need the type post form because I'm not going to work with the use form in here and also i'm not going to use that use form so remove also that one change the update here and the reason is uh let me just open the browser here in the inertia file uploads we need to add method spoofing so i want to add this underscore method both because uploading files using the multi-part form data request is not natively supported in some server-side frameworks when using the put, patch, or delete methods. The simple workaround for this limitation is to simply upload files using a post request instead. So because we're working with the upload images, we need to have post. But however, some frameworks such as Laravel and Rails support a form method spoofing, so which allow you to upload the files using post, but have the framework handle the request as a put or patch request. And this is done by including a method uh, underscore method attribute in the data of your request. So let me just come here, and now let's work with uh, React. Uh, use state so const title and set title use state and i'm going to say here a string now also we need to change the name here to be post edit and on the post edit we're going to receive the current post and we need uh, a type for this we can create here but um, i prefer to have in the types so let's create a type for the post and i'm going to say export interface post interface and yeah let's leave the ai to do the magic and we have id title and the content okay very good and now let's use here the post type okay let's do the same thing for the content and the same thing for the image so const image and set the image but as i told you i want to preview the image so let's create one for that const uh, image preview or yeah image preview and set the image preview which is a string or null on the image we use file here file type and i think we're okay we have this const handle file change and not set data but set image passing the file and also here we have auto completed the set image preview pass a url create object url from the file which is okay here now we are to use the not post we are to use the router so from the inertia js react router put not put but post because for that i use this and i want to add the method put here okay let's set the title very good yeah we need also the errors because when we work with the uh, use form we distract the errors from there but also we can distract the errors so let's say const errors we have to distract from the use page props like this 
and I think we have them. We have also the content, which let's leave it the AI and uh, yeah, now to remove this and also this one and update the store to be update. We have use form here, which we don't need, and we don't need also this one. We need to import the use state from React, and yeah, we have this underscore here because we haven't used the image preview, so let's use that when we have the image here. I'm going to say image preview and the AI help us. If we have that image preview, I'm going to display. And let's see, let's open the browser. Let's go here first, let's create a post. Use fake filler, choose the image. This one, say store. Okay, we have that. Now let's add a button here, to a link to navigate to the edit page which we need to open the index inside the pages post and here when we have the edit and delete let's add the link here and i don't want underline i want on hover to change the text to be indigo 600 okay so select route post edit passing the post id now we have this if i click we navigate there post one edit but we don't have the title and the content here so one way is to use the use effect but for now let's let just add it directly in here so i'm going to say current post title for this one and current post content for this one and now we have okay now let's close this and let's open the post store controller because i want to copy what we have in this method and then open the post update controller and paste it here on the update we are going to receive also the post object and yeah we need to import the post okay we validate the data here and we we'll say data slug to be something like this also i want to change the image so let's say data image to be post image but if the request has file image uh, let's import the storage facade so if we have an image first we need to delete that image and next assign the data image to a new image uh, path okay so if we have that we can say storage this public delete the post image and then do that and yeah let's say post update the last time post update and let me just see on the storage app public post we have only one image okay i think we are good we validated the data yeah here we are to say for the image uh, no label we don't need the image if the user hasn't sent and i think we are okay you can play with the validation, okay? You can say title required uh, means and max or the content. Also, the image to be something else, but I'm going to say no label and I think we are good. Let's refresh and let's just say first post here. First post. I'm not going to choose any image. I'm going to say just. Uh, content here and say update we have first post and we have content we updated successfully the post let's go and create a new post use a fake filler we need to choose the image here 
So let me just say storage. Yeah, the image field is required because we are on the create. And let me choose the same thing. This one. Okay. Now if I open the post here on the storage, we have two images. Let's update this and also I'm going to update the image. So let's say uh, second post, for example. Something here or just a uh, content. And let's choose the image. I'm going to choose React. Open. And yeah, we have a preview of the React here. And we can update. You can see we have second post, new image. Let's see on the here we have only two images. Very good. Now that is okay, but we have uh, two more things to do. First, we need to sort of not to create to preview the image and to show the notification. Also, when we edit, uh, when we edit this, I want on the form to have the image belong to this uh, post and also when you create a new one and let me just show you that right now so edit inside the resources js pages post let's scroll down when you have the this one also i'm going to add the current post okay and let me just come here and refresh we can see we have here second post. We don't see the image. And why is that? If we inspect the element and go to the console, yeah, we cannot uh, find the post because this is going to be in the react slash post slash two and then slash post uh, and the path of the post. We are showing here because we have the current URL. We have the slash post, as you can see. But if we are some somewhere else, the path is not correct. And for that, we need to create a resource or we can modify on the controller. But I'm going to create a resource to modify the fields and, and it's going to work. But that is going to be in the next video because I think this is going to be a long video if we implement all in this one. Now, if you like such a video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much, friends.